Did you know that there are over 30 reigning monarchies in the world today? And each of these comes with its own set of princes and princesses, each with their unique stories. Yes, you heard that right. From the stunning palaces of Europe to the majestic kingdoms of Asia, the concept of monarchy, though ancient, is far from extinct. Instead, it continues to be a fascinating aspect of our modern world, rich with history, tradition, and a dash of royal intrigue. There are numerous princes and princesses worldwide who continue to captivate us with their lives, their duties, and their personal tales. Each one is a unique individual, yet they all share a common thread. They are part of the intricate tapestry of monarchy, a system that has evolved over centuries and persists in various forms across the globe. So, are you ready to embark on this royal journey with us? Unveiling the lives of these fascinating individuals, their roles, their histories and the countries they represent? Join us as we embark on a global royal journey discussing the various princes and princesses who continue to fascinate us. Europe, a continent rich in history and culture, is home to many reigning monarchies with an array of princes and princesses. Let's delve into the captivating world of these royal figures who in many ways carry the weight of their nation's histories and futures on their shoulders. Starting with the United Kingdom, we have the charming Prince William and his brother, the charismatic Prince Harry, both sons of the late Princess Diana. These young men have become symbols of modern monarchy, balancing tradition with their own personal touch. In the heart of Scandinavia we find Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden. Known for her grace and dedication, she is a role model for many, upholding her duties with a mix of modernity and tradition. Similarly, her Norwegian counterpart, Crown Prince Haakon, is highly respected for his commitment to public service and his down-to-earth demeanor. Turning our gaze towards the sunny shores of Spain, we find the dashing King Felipe VI, two daughters, Princess Leonor and Infanta Sofia. These young princesses represent a new generation of Spanish royalty, embodying both the historical significance and the future of the Spanish monarchy. Moving south to Monaco, we cannot overlook the stylish and sophisticated Princess Charlene. A former Olympic swimmer, she has brought a breath of fresh air to the Monegasque royal family, championing various philanthropic causes with a passion that is truly inspiring. And finally, in the Netherlands, we have the young and vivacious Princess Katharina Amalia, the eldest daughter of King Willem Alexander and Queen Maxima. She represents a new era for the Dutch monarchy bringing a youthful enthusiasm to her royal duties. From the United Kingdom to Monaco, Europe's royal families continue to captivate audiences worldwide. Their stories, their lives, their duties, all serve as a fascinating tapestry of tradition, power, responsibility and glamour. And as they navigate the delicate balance between their public roles and private lives, they continue to be the faces of their nation's heritage and future. A truly intriguing blend of the past, present and future, wouldn't you agree? Moving east, Asia, with its diverse cultures and traditions, is home to several reigning monarchies. The royal families of these countries are a fascinating blend of age-old customs and modern influences. Let's delve into the captivating world of Asian monarchies and meet some of their prominent princes and princesses, starting with the land of the rising sun, Japan. Crown Prince Akishino, the younger brother of Emperor Naruhito, is a well-respected figure. He is known for his scholarly pursuits and his deep interest in wildlife conservation. Next, we journey to the kingdom of Bhutan, tucked away in the eastern Himalayas. The Dragon King, Jigme Kesar Namgyel Wangchuk and his wife, Queen Yetsun Pima, have captured hearts worldwide with their warm personalities and dedication to their people. In the Middle East, Jordan's Crown Prince Hussein bin Abdullah stands out. He's a modern-day prince, an Instagram sensation and a graduate from the prestigious Georgetown University. His commitment to youth empowerment and digital innovation is noteworthy. Moving on to Thailand, Princess Sirivanavari Nariratana is a fashion designer, equestrian, and the only daughter of King Vajiralongkorn. She is a perfect blend of traditional royalty and contemporary charm. Lastly, we turn to the Sultanate of Brunei, Prince Matian, the 10th child of Sultan Hassan al Bolkaya, is admired for his sporting prowess and his commitment to Brunei's youth and development. These princes and princesses, deeply rooted in their traditions, add to the rich tapestry of Asia's royal heritage. Apart from Europe and Asia, other continents too boast of their own monarchies. 
Let's embark on a journey to explore some of the prominent princes and princesses from these less often discussed royal houses, starting with the vibrant continent of Africa. In Morocco, a country known for its rich history and diverse culture, we find King Mohammed VI. His son, Crown Prince Moulay Hassan, is the heir apparent, impressing with his maturity and grace, despite his young age. Moving south, we arrive at the Kingdom of Swaziland, where King Mizwati III presides, and his many children, princes and princesses, play critical roles in the country's traditional ceremonies. Let's now traverse the vast Pacific to the island nations of Oceania. Tonga, one of the last remaining monarchies in the Pacific, is under the rule of King Tupu VI. His son, Crown Prince Tuputo Aulukalala, is next in line to the throne, ensuring the continuation of this Polynesian royal lineage. Crossing the Pacific, we land on the shores of the Americas. While monarchies are scarce here, we do find one in the Caribbean. The Kingdom of the Netherlands extends to the Caribbean islands of Aruba, Curaçao and St. Martin, where the Dutch King Willem Alexander is recognized as their monarch. These royals, far from the limelight usually shone on their European counterparts, carry forward their ancestral traditions. They continue to serve as symbols of national identity and unity, reminding us that monarchy as a form of governance is far from being a relic of the past, but is alive and well across the globe. In an era of democracies and republics, one might wonder about the role and relevance of monarchies. After all, aren't they relics of a bygone era? Remnants of a time when divine right and hereditary privilege determined who ruled? Well, not quite. Monarchies, much like any other institution, have evolved over the centuries, adapting to the changing times and societal expectations. Today, in many parts of the world, monarchies serve as an embodiment of national identity and continuity. They provide a sense of stability, a living link to the past, and a symbol of unity that transcends the divisive world of politics. In constitutional monarchies, for instance, the monarch's role is largely ceremonial. They play a unifying role, representing the state at official functions, both at home and abroad. They may also have a role in maintaining constitutional balance, serving as a non-political arbiter during times of political uncertainty. In other parts of the world, monarchies still wield considerable power, but they too have had to adapt. In response to demands for greater political participation and accountability, many have introduced reforms, sharing power with elected parliaments and respecting the rule of law. But it's not just about politics. Monarchies, with their pomp and pageantry, their traditions and rituals, add a touch of magic to the modern world. They captivate the public imagination, providing a sense of continuity and tradition that many find comforting in an ever-changing world. Furthermore, many royal families are actively engaged in philanthropic endeavors, using their influence and resources to make a difference in various fields such as education, healthcare and environmental conservation. One thing's for sure, in a world where the only constant is change, the enduring presence of monarchies offers a fascinating paradox. They are institutions rooted in tradition and yet they continue to evolve, demonstrating a remarkable ability to adapt and stay relevant. These princes and princesses, while symbolizing a bygone era, continue to play significant roles in their respective countries. From Europe to Asia, from Africa to the Americas, princes and princesses continue to fascinate us. We've journeyed through the regal landscapes of Europe's royal families, marveled at the ancient lineages of Asia's monarchies, and delved into the unique heritages of other global monarchies. We've also pondered the role and relevance of these royal figures in our modern world. It's been a captivating exploration, one that underscores the enduring allure of royal narratives and the complexities that accompany them, but alas, every royal tour must come to an end. We do hope you found our global royal journey as enchanting as we did. If you enjoyed this video, do us the honor of clicking the like button and sharing it with your fellow royal enthusiasts. And don't forget to subscribe to ensure you're always in the loop for our next royal rendezvous. Thank you for joining us on this global royal journey. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.